so somebody somebody freaking pinch me i'm actually excited for nerf blaster releases in 2024 i'm not pulling any punches here the nerf strife x was a really half-baked idea from hasbro while it included a lipo and it included a blaster and it used short darts it was really just a mangled nerf strife with some things fixed but also a lot of things removed it, it honestly just didn't make a whole lot of sense and i quote myself saying that i thought they would never do any more nerf pro stuff i mean after all if the strife x was 120 dollars a nerf rapid strike x would cost like 200 and at this point i don't even know if you could still get the strife x it disappeared off amazon quite some time ago it it was already revealed that Hasbro had plans for a 14 and up line hitting store shelves coming up here this fall, and now we know exactly what those blasters are. Special thanks to Discord user Corvialith, I think I'm pronouncing that right, we now have two pictures and pretty much all the information we need on the new Nerf Pro Torrent and Sender. Both of those sound like computer terms, although I believe Torrent is what the horse is called in Elden Ring. I for one accept our new Nerf Souls overlords. I I'm not even gonna lie, if you could get a competent developer, a Nerf Souls-like game could actually work, especially with how many blasters and ammo types there are. Come on Hasbro, you know you want- actually just like a Nerf roguelike in general would be really good. Seriously Hasbro, you just gotta think a little bit. Now obviously there's no doubt in my mind that a few Among Us have actually held and used these blasters, but I haven't so I get to speculate and there's no footage or anything of these blasters actually functioning in the wild right now. So we'll start off with the Nerf Pro Torrent, a $30 Magen Grip Springer Pistol. Or really like a PDW, the size and scale of these things could change rather drastically between the pictures we get and the actual release. But that's right, $30 and it does claim up to 150 feet per second and it uses what looks to be a remixed nerf short dart gone are the accu strike style darts at least from what i can tell from a grainy photo but obviously the accu strike style darts didn't work with springer so they would have to redesign the dart and it looks like they did right there 30 dollars mag and grip 150 fps that's pretty much all you need for this thing to be a slam dunk of a blaster right on the box the torrent says it has pump action and well there's really only one way for that to work that big white thing you see on the front of the blaster that looks like a small squashed angled foregrip, that's a pump grip, baby. We're going places. Now, while I think this blaster is definitely larger than we really give it credit for, it looks tiny in pictures, but it's probably bigger than an Apollo. But the fact that Nerf already put pump action on it instead of like a dumb bolt thing like they normally do means they're actually thinking with this one. And yes, while it has a stock that might move or be adjustable or something like that, I kind of freaking doubt it. At least you can kind of squash it up on your body or something to fire off the hip. But really, that's all you need from a primary let alone a secondary adding to this takes away from what it already is but i'm sure people have stock attachments and everything out for it dare i say are those picatinny rails it's hard to tell but these look more like picatinny rails than what the nerf strife x had or all of the new rival stuff that would truly show that hasbro is listening i mean that right there is pretty much everything i could ever want however if it has slam fire and a smooth prime this is an s tier blaster bar none. This is a type of design that we don't really get easy access to right now. Which makes this all the more confusing coming from Nerf, because usually they just reshell ideas and ideas without adding anything new. Really the best of all worlds, so I'm really hoping that's what the torrent is. Mag and grip, pump action, slam fire, smooth prime but I'm legitimately excited for the torrent. And at $30, you should be too, because even if this thing isn't any of that, $30 from Nerf for 150 FPS mag and grip, that's, that's a deal. I know they've been doing a better deal with like the N series stuff, but to be perfectly frank, uh, N series is so like, I'm bored of it so much now, I can't even finish the video on the pinpoint and the agility. I, I'm already burnt out of N-Series. But for casual outdoor play, that's pretty much everything you would need. And who knows what the mod potential is like with this thing. So I'm legitimately excited. It is a Nerf product and they have been historically very disappointing over the past five years. Let's hope this one is a winner, but it doesn't hold a candle to the sender. Oh, hey, look at that. I, I don't... I don't have any reason to finish this build anymore. Yeah, the sender is basically a strife. It's a semi-auto flywheel blaster that's powered by AA batteries. How many? I can't actually tell from the Grady picture. But what I can tell you is that it's a bullpup pistol style flywheel blaster. Uh, 
Yes! Everything about that is yes! The whole reason why the MA-40 worked so good being cut down is because the whole front half of the blaster didn't actually add anything to performance or anything. Sure, it looked really cool and this became a really expensive blaster and I'm kind of sad I cut the only one I had in half, but really all I need is a faux barrel and this thing would be working again. I, it, when I made this thing, for some reason, the darts came out backwards and it turns out it's because of the barrel material I used. And this is, no lies, an extremely comfortable design and that's exactly what the sender is. The sender appears to use the exact same magazines that the Torrent uses, takes an unspecified amount of AA batteries, it's probably eight, although it could be six. And let's be real, if if it's six or eight AA batteries, that's fine. That helps it get into stores. They don't have to worry about shipping or anything like that with lithium or that's fine. But please, I hope, I hope and dream that much like the Mark III, this has an XT30 or an XT60 connector. So you can disconnect the original battery tray and plug in a LiPo and just use it with a LiPo out of the box. That would make this blaster Perfect. And it's a semi-auto flywheeler for under $50. And it's amazing it's taken this long to get that in like a reasonable package on store shelves. But on top of that, this is a bullpup, so it's different than any of the other ones you could probably get. Of course, I'm mostly talking about the Adventure Force Maxim Pro we know is coming, which looks to be just that, a strife, but with pro level performance, which should have been one of the first things we got, but now we're finally getting one years later. Nerf is doing that, but in a bullpup configuration. So if you don't like bullpups, well, you have the Maxim, but for everybody else, yeah, I, I really like the design of the sender. Even from a competitive standpoint, semi-auto is the way to go. And if the trigger feel and everything on this blaster is good, this is going to be a really good blaster for competitive. But then on top of that, this design is going to be exceptionally useful for close quarters. Semi-auto means you're not gonna waste a whole lot of rounds. That also means you can basically turn a corner while firing the blaster or even approaching a corner firing the blaster so nobody can peek at you. And then you also have the ability to turn the corner while firing and take out your target before they can do anything. And the shorter the blaster, the easier it is to maneuver. And if the trigger is half as good as the one on my MA-40 build, which is just the stock MA-40 trigger cut down so it can shoot short darts, that will make this, once again, pretty much a top tier blaster. And this is all I want from Nerf. Even if these weren't pro blasters, at least they're doing something different. They're taking a familiar design, but turning it on its head. Even something as simple as taking a strife and making it a bullpup pistol is different enough that it opens up a whole new world. Having multiple options isn't a bad thing. It just sucks when all those options are basically the same thing. This does something different. If you already have a pro strife, well, you probably have a reason to also pick up the nerf sender. And at these prices, you really can't complain. Assuming these blasters work exactly how they should on paper, these will be winners, especially if they're on store shelves. Everybody said that about the nerf strife X, but it never appeared on store shelves. The fact that even the sender is using double AA batteries? Just can't tell how many? Yeah, it's probably gonna be on store shelves. And if Nerf is entering the pro arena and putting blasters on store shelves and more people can see what foam darts are capable of, our hobby grows. Most people still don't understand what pro performance is. They think like the end strike Maverick and that's what Nerf is capable of. And not like what you get with your Nexus Pro. And Nerf historically has absolutely lied about range claims. Actually, I think pretty much every company has. It's only recently that those range claims have started to become a reality. And even then, looking at the boxes, most people aren't gonna understand what 150 feet per second means. That's probably the biggest hurdle for opening up our hobby to a larger audience. But if Nerf Pro gets a couple of commercials and stuff like that, like Nerf Rival and whatnot, that is a game changer and that's what we've been looking for this entire time. But then there's that smell in the room and it's not me this time, it's the Nerf N series where it says extreme accuracy, distance, and speed. And it's like marginally better than Nerf Elite, which was still under par for years. These blasters should be released before fall. I'm guessing early, late August at that. And I wish they would come out sooner because I think this is exactly what we've all been waiting for. And both of these blasters look exceptionally good. And who knows what the future holds in that regard. They don't need to hit 300, 400 feet per second. That's gratuitous at that point. But 150 feet per second to 200 feet per second is 
really the sweet spot for foam darts where it makes it incredibly viable to play outside, but still fun enough that you don't really have to worry about injury. And now that we know Nerf Pro is back on the table, I guess the biggest question is, what do you hope to see from them? Because Nerf may be paying attention to those comments and who knows, we might actually see your ideas come to light. For me, please make a magazine fed or tubular magazine, make a lever action that's pro. Why have we still not gotten a pro lever action yet? That's like the one thing that everybody wants that they refuse to make. Anybody? Dart Zone? X-Shot? Nerf? Come on, man. Busby! Give me a 150 FPS out of the box Pro Series lever action. I don't care if it takes a mag. That's fine. Better if it don't, though. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're probably going to be seeing these things sooner than you think. It's not like it's completely changing the game or anything, but I'm actually excited for Nerf products. And I was already burnt by N-Series already, so please, Hasbro, don't mess this up. My, my heart can't take too much more, and, and look at me, it, it's already struggling.